What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. So today, yes, you read the title and the thumbnail right. We are going to be looking at every single fifth tier tower in Balloon Star Defense 6 in one single game. Now, obviously, this is going to be very expensive to get every single upgrade, hopefully before round 80. And then after that, we're going to check it out in sandbox mode. So definitely stay tuned because we're going to test out every single fifth tower in the game in sandbox mode against some crazy rushes like a thousand CMGs, a thousand BADs. But yes, yeah, so I have a mod installed, which is basically 10 times cash. So I make 10 times cash from popping balloons, from collecting bananas, and it's pretty broken. It allows me to get enough cash to do this, hopefully before round 80. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed enjoy it's gonna be insane i don't think anybody's ever done this on youtube after the dart link has come out now people have done this on youtube before they've looked at every single fifth tower in one game but obviously they have not done that with the dart link included and maybe not the engineer included as well because i know that was added later on in the game so yeah we're gonna be testing it out i hope we get this to work because it's gonna be so easy to accidentally miss some upgrades hopefully i won't do that hopefully i get every single upgrade uh and yeah let's just farm as hard as we can so the, the first half of this video is probably gonna be trying to get to like i guess maybe 2.5 million maybe 3 million dollars should be enough obviously it's not gonna take me that long right because i have 10 times cash in in fact, I think I may even have 20 times cash because I have two times cash mode enabled. And with 10 times cash mode, that I believe that's 20 times cash. I'm not sure if it works that way. But yeah, we're just going to farm really hard. And obviously, uh, every single balloon we pop gives us a ton of money as well. So yeah, this is going to be really awesome. Make sure to like the video if you do enjoy. And of course, subscribe because I do daily content like this on the channel on Balloons Tower Defense Battles modded and Balloons Tower Defense 6. So yeah, if you like this kind of content, only takes a second. It's free and it really really helps out the channel okay so let's just go for a bunch of these banana research facilities and yeah man i chose this map because it has water it has land it has a ton of space to get all these towers and yeah you can see we're around 13 in hard mode and we already have enough money wait this is kind of awkward there we go we we do finally have enough money for this banana central on round 14 which is insane but obviously it's not really insane because we're using a mod uh but yeah i'm just i don't know if this is the best way to farm uh but this is like an easy way with 20 times cash mode just to get a bunch of money really quickly so that is exactly what we're going to be doing wait i just had an idea i just had an idea i don't know if this is gonna work but so you know how it's 20 times cash mode right so what happens if I sell a tower? Uh, I don't think the double cash will affect that, but the 10 times cash should. So if I sell a tower that's worth 19,000, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should be able to make 190,000 from it. Okay, so let's look at our money right there. Uh, did that even work? Wait, did that work? Wait, I, I think that's actually working. Is that actually making us way more money? Okay, let me get a stupidly expensive tower. Let me just get like... um. Let's get the Legend of the Knights. And we sell this for 237000 I think, I think that's giving us way more money. Like, do we already, how much money do we, oh my god, we have, already have 4 million. We already have so much money. Okay, it's like, oh, this is not good. Let's not die, let's not die. Um, quick, 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 ninja, ninja, ninja. Okay, we did not really leak that many lives. Okay, so it looks like I don't even need to farm anymore. Like, I can just sell my farms for 10 times cash, and now I have 10 times cash. So... I am going to get every single 0, zero tower in the game. Now, this is going to be kind of annoying to do, I have to be honest. Like, we have to place down every single tower in the game three times. Because, of course, every single tower in the game, they have three different fifth tier upgrades. Which is really awesome. Like, dude, props to Ninja Kiwi for adding so much stuff to this game. is actually unbelievable. Now, I may not be able to get the, the best cross pass. Because I don't know this game that well. I'm kind of a noob at this game. And I want to, like, get every single upgrade quickly. Because otherwise, it's going to take a year. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do. I'm going to put every single 0, zero tower down. So that's all of the primary towers. And then we're going to put every single, like, uh, like the wizard. Wait, what is it? The magic towers, I guess. Uh, then we're going to get every single uh, support tower and every single military. Oh my god, do we not have lead? Okay, no, we do have lead. We have the bomb tower. Yeah, I really hope you guys do enjoy the video and definitely stay tuned to the end. It is going to be absolutely awesome trying to test this out against insane amounts of balloons. Also, we get to use every single ability in the game, which is just going to be ridiculous. Like, there are so many abilities. It is actually going to be insane. Okay, let's just keep on getting these druids. Uh, it's actually, it's not taking that long to get everything, to be honest. And we'll get the farms all the way at the bottom here. We don't need you farms. Uh, in fact, I can just go for the farm upgrades right now, to be honest. Let's just go 
for all of the fifth tier farms. Let's see how much money we can make off these. Uh, again, I don't know if these are the best cross paths. Let's get a stupid banana farmer down there as well, just so I'm not missing all the crates. Because I know that will probably annoy you guys an absolute ton if I just let every single banana die. Okay, where's the spider power tree? There's the spider power tree. Yeah. So, no one's done this on YouTube with the Dartling Gunner before. So, it's actually going to be pretty interesting to see what happens. And again, I'm not placing these towers the best. I'm just placing them wherever. Uh, obviously, we're not going to struggle against the balloons. Like, we are absolutely annihilating the balloons. Uh, but to be fair, most of the towers we have on the screen right now, they are literally, they are only, they're only like uh, zero, zero, zero towers. So, we shouldn't actually be doing that well. Okay, so which towers do I not have? So, I have every single... Wait, let me just check this. Okay, yeah. So, what I was missing was all the military monkeys. I believe I have every single 000 magic monkey apart from the soup monkey. But, obviously, soup monkey is a bit different. Now, I'm not going to be getting the ventral temple because when we test it out in sandbox mode, uh, obviously, we're not allowed to get the ventral temple for some reason in sandbox mode, which, not going to lie... It kind of sucks, but it, it is what it is. So we're just going to get a regular true Sungo temple. I actually, I may not even get any sacrifices for it, which kind of sucks. But it, I mean, that's just the power. Like, we're just getting the regular fifth tier upgrades. Now, obviously, if you get a ventral temple, or you get lots of sacrifices. It is going to be absolutely broken, but we're not going to do that. Okay, let's go for the mortars. Uh, let's go for the dartlings as well. We already got one dartling over there. So let's put, uh, put two more dartlings down. Now, I believe this is every single zero zero tower in the game right here that is a lot of towers guys actually it does kind of look kind of orderly like to be honest there isn't like that much going on but of course when i get every single upgrade oh my god it's gonna be insane because obviously you have like 20 plus towers times three because of the fifth tiers that's over probably 60 different fifth tier towers over probably 20 abilities it is gonna be absolutely insane Guys, I lost the druid. I'm just putting another druid down. We're going to get this one to the Avatar of Wrath because I can't find the other druid. I mean, it must be somewhere, right? It must be somewhere here. If I find it, I will sell it. But yeah, I, I just can't. I can't see another druid. I just can't, dude. I can't. Okay, so we got the farms. Now we just got we got three more towers to go and then we're done. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh, I just used ability by accident. How on earth am I meant to click these? Okay, there we go. Finally. Yeah, this is kind of ridiculous right now. Okay, now we just got the... I'm going to do the engineer first. Let's just get quickly get all of these. Um, This is just insane right now. Uh, let's also speed it up. Now... Oh my god, it's probably going to lag out my laptop. Okay, where are the villages? There are the villages. Okay, primary expertise. Homeland defense. And, of course, oh, we can't get it. We need a banana farm. Okay, so if we put a banana farm, like, over here, and I put a village here, can I get this monkey city upgrade or whatever it's called? Can I get it? Yep, okay, we can. Okay, that is every single fit tier tower, fit tier upgrade in the game right there, including the dartling gun, which, honestly, you can't really see, because this, there, there's just so much stuff going on. Oh, I remember. I remember where I put the druid. I actually remembered. Okay, so we can sell this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's use every single ability in the game right now. Uh, oh my god, this is just going to be insane. Um, Let's use it. Oh, I don't want to use those ones. I don't want to use... I don't want to... I just transported that for some reason. Okay, that's kind of stupid, but it's what I... Oh, I just sacrificed the tower. I literally just... No. I just sacrificed the tower to Adora. That's so stupid. I did not want that to happen. Okay, we're still using these abilities, guys. Oh, what is happening on my screen? Every single ability in the game right now. Oh, wow. But what tower did I sacrifice? What tower did I sacrifice? <laughs> no, it's going to be for... Wait, I think I sacrificed... The okay, I, 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 I sacrificed the spike factory. That's okay. I mean, it's not okay. But at least I know which one it is. Now, which which one did I sacrifice, dude? I don't even know. I don't even know which one I sacrificed. Um, Which one did I... Okay, I think it's the bottom path. Let's get the... Yeah. There, I, I, for some reason, I sacrificed that. I didn't mean to. I have to be more careful with the abilities. Let's try and use the abilities properly. Okay, so Homeland. Let's use those. Let's use those. Let's do that. Let's do that. All of these right now, right here. Let's keep on using them. Yeah, this is this. I'm not surprised it gets kind of laggy because that is a lot of stuff happening on the screen at once. That is so much stuff happening. Okay. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Oh my god. Like, we are not going to struggle at all to any round that's going to come out. Like, we've just got so many towers on the screen right now. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we are on round 103 right now. And when the bad balloon came out on round 100, I couldn't see anything. 
I literally couldn't see the Babylon because we are destroying everything instantly. It's actually insane. And like some of our most like great towers, like with the most popping power, they are even in range of the start of the track. Like I'm sure we could probably get to like round 300 maybe with this defense. Like it's unbelievably good. I saw Super John Bombo's video on the Dartling Gun. By the way, watch it if you haven't already. Uh, and he got to like, actually I won't spoil it, but he got to a really high round with just three Dartlings. And we got every single tier five tower in the game right here. So yeah, obviously, yeah, we are, we're not going to struggle. Like we're, we're doing absolutely fine against everything you can see. Oh, you, you did kind of see DDTs right there. You could very slightly see DDTs, but apart from that, yeah, this defense is absolutely broken. So before we go to sandbox mode, I I, I just want to, I have to do this again. I have to do this again. I want to use every single ability. Oh, don't use that one. Okay. Every single ability and yeah, see how much it likes out the game because it probably is going to lag out the game quite a lot because it is just ridiculous. Like this is an insane defense, but yeah. Let's go to sandbox mode now and test out this against like a thousand ZMGs. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we have every single tier 5 tower in the game right here. And it is getting seriously laggy. Like, we, we literally have so many towers. And I really hope I haven't missed anything. I actually missed the soup monkey, so I had to do all of this again and get the soup monkeys, which kind of sucked, to be honest. But yeah, let's go. Let's go. This is going to be insane. Every single fifth tier. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to send out round 100. I'm going to send out zero spacing, 999 ZOMGs against this defense right here. I'm not going to use any ability. Abilities. I'm not going to use any abilities at all. And yep, you can see the lag. It is insane. There is so much lag because the game, my laptop, if I was on my PC, it would lag a bit less. But the game has to handle every single tower right here with all these abilities, which yes, I'm not using them, but still. And it has to handle 999 ZMGs as well, which is just ridiculous. And you can see they're popping down into BFBs. You can't, it's really hard to see. But there are mobs, there are BFBs coming out right there. Let's use the Homeland Defense. Let's use, let's just use every ability let's go for every single ability right here this is going to be so much and i again i really oh what is happening that was a big flash right there my god this is crazy oh we did it dude we did it we popped 999 just like that okay well 999 bad's let's go i don't know if we're gonna be able to defend against this honestly seriously this is going to be so much stuff right there i i, I it's gonna probably crash my game though oh my god it's actually so laggy I did not think it would be this laggy. Like, I thought I'd be able to handle this a bit better. And I don't think it's the game's fault. It's mainly my laptop's fault. Also, look how many spikes we have at the bottom right there. Dude, these spike factories are going ham. That's insane. We have so many spikes. We got the soup mines, the perma spikes. My game has crashed, literally. Oh, okay. It was literally one frame a second right now. That's absolutely terrible. Oh, my God. But are we doing good damage? And the answer is, well, I don't know. I can't see. I, I, I literally can't see how much damage we are doing against these BADs. Um, I suspect we're doing pretty well. I can see ZOMGs. Yep. I can see ZOMGs. So we are definitely are popping the BAD layer, which was to be expected because I have so much stuff on my side right now. If we weren't able to pop the BAD layer, well, that would be kind of a scam. But no, it looks like we are popping it. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have many infinite rate, like infinite pierce towers near the front. So, oh my god, this could take a while. This is actually insane. I'm just going to use some of these abilities, even though they're probably not doing anything. First strike might do something. The boat ability, uh, the boat ability also is going to hook in, yeah, a bunch of BFBs and stuff. Uh, the glue ability, no idea if any of these abilities are going to do anything. Uh, the glue really seems to lag out the game. Like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Also, it looks like most of the BADs are gone. I mainly see ZOMGs and I mainly see BFBs. So, I'm pretty sure we've almost defended this. Definitely, it's possible to defend against 999 BADs with this defense. It's just horribly, horribly laggy. How much How much, How much? much damage has this done, by the way? Okay, that's that's decent. 96, oh, 900, 965,000. I think the pop count's a bit weird because I have 10 times cash mode on, so it kind of affects it. But yeah, that's probably like one of the highest popping towers. Oh, that's a lot of DDTs right there. Look at those DDTs. Oh my god. That's so many DDTs. Let's use the ice ability if we can. Yeah, some of the stuff still works. Let's use the Saw Bomber, which causes that weird yellow effect. Look at that. Oh, that did so much damage, guys. I think definitely the Saw Bomber or whatever must have. Yeah, okay, the Flying Fortress has a lot as well. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. That's an insane amount of pops. Definitely the sub bomber is doing the majority of the work right here with that ability. Also, I can't click off. I can't do anything. Please, there we go. Thank you. 
My god, this is laggy. Let's use the Wizard Lord Phoenix. Let's use this ability. Let's use the Bomb ability. Let's use the Homeland. Um, let's use the Carpet of Spikes. Let's use this ability. Let's use, like, the, the stupid Marine. The, 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 the Boomerang ability. Oh my god, this is so much stuff. And still, the rush goes on. But I'm pretty sure we've almost defended against this. There's no way we're going to lose to this rush. I mean, it's a lot of BADs. Also, I'm going to send out round 999 so you see how broken like uh, like things get uh, later on in the game. It's ridiculous. Things get insanely buffed. Like a BAD, one BAD round like even 500. I don't think we'd be able to defend against it with this defense even though we have every single fitted tower in the game. But yeah, this is just getting ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, guys, I got rid of the balloons because we were going to defend against that. 100% we could defend against it. It was just going to take years. Okay, round 500. I want to test this out. Just one. Just one BAD, round 500. How fast is this thing? Well, it is insanely fast. Yes, I'm on fast four, but still, look at this thing. It is absolutely tanking my defense right now. Remember, this is only round 500. This is not even round 999. This is unbelievable. It is so powerful. Even if I use like all my abilities, we would still stand no chance against, against against this thing. Like it is insanely powerful. I just use a ton of my abilities literally to no avail. It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. Look at this. Look at this. It just walks past my defense like it was nothing. And it's absolutely not nothing. Okay, last test. Round 999. Let's send it out. And it actually works. Yep, round 999. Look at this basically double as fast like probably way 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 more health yeah obviously we wait oh oh that's the grand sabo okay the grand sabo is definitely getting a lot of pops right there but apart from the grand sabo there's no way we were defending against this and of course we are going to go down to this but yeah really hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i found this really awesome checking out every single fifth tip yeah really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video peace